Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The first email system I used was on uh, VMS, just their regular old mail app. And then I moved to Elm, which was on Unix at the University of Northern Iowa. Uh, from there, I believe I migrated to Eudora for a short while, and then to Pegasus Mail, and then not long after that, Internet Mail and News which of course turned into Outlook Express, which I then used until Microsoft released Outlook 2000, no, Outlook 98. That's when I first started using Outlook and I've been using Outlook ever since. In fact, I <clears throat> skipped Outlook 2003 and 2002 because they really weren't that good and I'm now using Outlook 2007 in an exchange environment. So I've been using email for quite a few years. Race Dude in the chat room this afternoon wrote, hey guys, I have Office 2007 and Outlook 2007 included, obviously. Anyway, I don't really use anything in the program other than mail, so should I get Thunderbird as I like the customizability of Firefox? I've used it before, but I haven't used it for a while. <clears throat> well, if all you use inside of Outlook is email, then certainly you're not taking advantage of everything that Outlook has to offer, and it's going to be easier for you to migrate to just about any other email client on the planet, including Thunderbird. Now, up until recently, I was a little cautious about recommending Thunderbird, despite the fact that it does uh, come from the same folks who have brought us Firefox, uh, just because it seems to have been, well, abandoned. Uh, and I say up until recently because they've just infused it with a nice fat cash pile uh, to reinvigorate its development and to uh, reassert its place inside the space of email clients, at least as far as on the desktop is concerned. Thunderbird does do email and RSS, I would say, rather well. Certainly far better than Windows Mail, uh, at least inside of Windows Vista. I uh, did recommend Outlook Express in a general capacity, uh, and Thunderbird and Outlook Express pretty much side by side, but then Windows Mail that ships with Vista is really bad. I mean, I wouldn't even wish that on my own worst enemy uh, in terms of an email client experience. Uh, Microsoft also issued a Windows Live desktop mail or something like that uh, after they released Vista and that's a much better desktop mail client uh, for people to use over uh, Outlook Express and or Windows Mail. Thunderbird, I would say, is worth a shot. And the fact that they're spending a lot more time on it, dedicating resources to Thunderbird as a, a client for mail and RSS, I think it's uh, certainly worth looking at again. Uh, I was hoping that by this time they would have integrated Sunbird, which is the Mozilla Foundation's calendaring program. Uh, putting a calendar uh, side by side with mail makes a hell of a lot of sense, at least to me. That's the reason why Apple has Mail and iCal and the Tasks and the, every RSS, they're all kind of loosely integrated with one another. It's the reason why Outlook has survived as long as it has is because it integrates email and calendaring and tasks and notes and all the things a good personal information manager might have inside of it. Uh, but Thunderbird, I say, is uh, certainly worth a stab. It uh, looks like someone just uses Outlook. That's what I'm using now, especially in an exchange environment. Uh, I really uh, appreciate everything that it can offer to me. It's not perfect, like I said, but it's my hope that at some point in the future, I could have that similar type of functionality virtually on the web without having to download and install anything locally. And I think with Exchange or hosted or managed Exchange, I may be well on my way uh, for that. I'm trying it, use it Thunderbird. Eh. Give it a shot. Try it for a while. If anything, what I'd recommend is accessing your email over IMAP 
and we've talked about that before, uh, basically allowing you to get to all your emails and keep them on the server uh, so that no ma- you can get to them no matter what. And that's kind of like the same way as you would interact with a, an exchange provider, a hosted exchange provider, keeping all the emails on the server and accessing them either over the web from anywhere or from any desktop client. IMAP is the way to go. And then if you like Thunderbird, yeah, maybe you could download those messages uh, using POP3 and then keep with Thunderbird until you want to try something else. Uh, I'm not going to say don't try it. I'm going to say try it. That's what software is all about. But use IMAP uh, to access your email so that way you're not downloading anything into Thunderbird permanently. You can still keep it on the server and access it from other places. What does everybody else think about Thunderbird? Are you a Thunderbird user? Are you thinking about making the switch to Thunderbird? If so, why? And if not, why not? Just curious to know. As I said, I'm stuck in Outlook. I'm stuck for... I think a good reason. Anyway, what do you guys think about email clients and what was the first email client you ever used? I think that's, I'm curious about that more than anything else. Go ahead, leave a comment, remark, follow up, whatnot, and uh, you're also welcome to email me, no matter what client you use, chris at perillo.com, and in that email I might remind you that you can save 10% at GoDaddy next time you register your domain name there by using the coupon code chris1, that's chris in the number one slid that little reference in there. Of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room and join us for mirth and merriment throughout the day. It doesn't matter what kind of uh, chat client you use to get to us. Of course, the easiest way is just going right to the website where you can find all our videos. That's at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.